discussing to you our first lesson in the subject of reading visual art okay so what is art so art derived from the latin word meaning ars meaning ability or skill therefore we can say that art is is a skill it is your talent it is your ability right so if you have that skill you have to to express it if you have the talent you have to show it for us to appreciate your talent and that is reading visual art so if you know how to imagine things if you know how to to draw or to paint or to express yourself in in art that would be very good for you okay so if you're going to ask me i am not good in drawing or in painting but i think i have some art when, when you talk about expressing myself talking myself or it's just a simple sharing of my thoughts and it's it's also a part of being artistic how you express yourself in words so we can express ourselves not only in drawing or in painting in sculpture and architecture but also we can we can show our being artistic by expressing ourselves clearly to others right okay so here are some of the couple views and definition of art so there are a lot of people who try to define what is really the meaning of art so first one according to f zolueta art is a product of man's need to express himself meaning if you have the desire to express yourself even in words in drawing or in painting that is art right so it's not all about drawing it's not all about the landscaping painting is also about how you express yourself to to others that is that is basically the meaning of art so i am artistic in my own simple way in my own in my own ability in my own skill so the second definition of art is art is a combination of specific ideas and feelings it is a, therefore if you want to communicate something to others based on your own feelings and emotion or ideas you can use art right that is according to c sanchez that art is a combination of specific ideas and feelings so if you feel good you will draw something good about yourself if you feel something sad you also draw something something that is painful or, or something that is not good based on how you feel and that is art okay so the third definition of art is art is it brings life in harmony with the beauty of the world that is according to plato so if you still remember plato no plato also defined the idea of art that art brings life in harmony with the beauty of the world so if you're going to if you know what to appreciate the beauty the beauty of the world what you see now the the trees the the nature therefore that is art because you are able to to appreciate life in harmony with the beauty of the world so there are a lot of people know who know how to draw their own feelings through art they know how to express their ideas and feelings through art okay so art is brings life in harmony with the beauty of the world okay the fourth definition is art is an attitude of spirit a state of mind so according to john dewey that art is an attitude of spirit and a state of mind so therefore art if you feel good if you think good if you think happy thoughts therefore you will be able to express it through art and that is according to john dewey that is an attitude of spirit and a state of mind okay so if you have some if you experience bad things in life a lot of people will also show their there's themselves through art through drawing through painting so there are a lot of means on how we can express it through art for me if i feel sad i normally express it by sharing by talking by expressing myself in words because i don't know how to draw i don't know how to paint and if if you have that if you know that it's it's a good thing for you so you are so lucky no okay 
that's according to John Dewey. So the fifth definition of art is art is the skillful arrangement or composition of some but significant qualities of nature. Therefore, if you love nature, more or less, if you love to express it through art, or if you want somebody to know it, that you really love nature, you will express it through art. By drawing, by painting, more or less, your painting are all focused on nature because you are into nature. So it's a means of expressing yourself to others. And therefore, we will be able to appreciate you as a nature lover because more or less, you are into nature. Okay, so that's that's the five definition of art so again art is not just about drawing painting sculpture but also we can use our being art artistic or being skillful in words like this right if you're able to share it in words express yourself in words that is art okay so there are classifications there are classifications of art. The first one, if you have the visual or the space arts. So painting, sculpture, architecture. So those are the examples of visual or space arts. Space arts. Okay, so why it's visual or space arts? Because visual, because you can, you can see it, right? But nowadays, because of technologies, because of a lot of transition from 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 doing it manually now we are using computer computer art so we can do like we can do a lot of design through our computer computer we can use that so that's the impact of technology nowadays so more or less uh, if you are into art you are now using computer art right so instead of doing it manually by your own you all you can do it by using your own computer to design something or to 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 do something in expressing yourself through art so there are five elements of visual art we have the first one is the line the color the texture the perspective and the space so when you talk about visual art you need to to know the five elements of visual art the first one is the line so we have horizontal line vertical lines diagonal lines curved lines or jug lines don't you know that every line has its own meaning so when you talk about horizontal lines if you're going to use that horizontal lines are lines for serenity for calmness they express ideas of calmness so for example if you're if you are a painter you are going to use horizontal line that means that you are showing uh calmness of nature peaceful life so that's that's really the meaning of horizontal lines serenity okay number two line is a vertical line so if you are a painter if you're going to use to use vertical lines that means it denotes action it denotes balance it denotes uh standing up right so you are you are still planning on what to do you are still planning on what action to take if you are going to use vertical lines and more or less it has its own meaning so every line if you are a painter if you are an artist so every line has its own meaning okay the third is the diagonal line so if you're going to use diagonal line in your drawing it means it suggests action life and movement okay so if you want to to move or if, if you want to take another action so more or less an, an artist will use diagonal lines okay how about the curve lines the curve lines okay so what is the meaning when, you, when they use the curve line so the curve lines it suggests grace movement and flexibility so as what you can see the curve lines are like this so it denotes being flexible uh, it shows direction it shows instability Inst instability it means you are not yet decided right you are you are torn between two lovers if you are using uh curve lines you are not yet fixed with your decision it's inst it's unstable 
Okay, you are flexible. Okay, so the fifth line is the uh, the jug lines, meaning the the jug lines. It simply means it expresses energy, violence, struggle struggle conflict so the jug line that's why you are using the jug lines so in short every line in visual art has its own meaning and if you're going to ask me uh i am not good at drawing or in painting but now i realize that every drawing or every line that the artist are you saying it has its own meaning it's not all about drawing it has its own meaning because it is an expression of the feelings and ideas of the part okay how about this one the first is the color and the line right we are done with the line so now let's focus on the color the number two elements of visual art is the color do you think that the color has the most aesthetic appeal because the color brings lightness or darkness no so the color also has its own meaning so it gives a very good impression so if you are happy with those moments and then you tend to paint something it will show that you are happy based on color because we also have happy colors right we also have the sad colors so color color has the most aesthetic appeal Okay, so there are three dimension of color. Number one is the U is the dimension of color that gives color its name. Okay, its name because when you are going to use some color, it may either be warm or cool. It may either be if we're going to use the primary color, it really depends on the artist, no, on what on the feelings of the artist when they when they draw something like this. So we have you, it refers to the lightness or the darkness of a color. So it really depends on the artist on what color he is going to use with the paint with the painting. So it, it really matters, no, the it it depends on the artist on what color he, he or she is going to use just to ex express just to express his or her art to other people okay there are people who are using dark colors light colors so now you will get to appreciate that the color has also its own meaning it's not all about the line so if you are happy you will use i think huh, if you are happy you will use light colors if you are sad you will use dark colors because it shows some darkness or the painful inside of you but if you are happy you will get to show the the happy part of you so it really depends on the artist or the one who is do doing that to express himself through art okay so how about the third one is the intensity so another dimension of color is the intensity so it gives color strength so if, if they are going to to show the brightness or the darkness of of his ex ex expression so it really gives the color strength so colors plays an important role in the work of the artist so if the artist wanted to awaken the emotion of the of the audience so he will use some strong color you no know, just to awaken the emotional response of the viewer okay so if the artist wanted to to show something so he will use the the dark color the intensity gives more color strength and the dark color just to express or to awaken the emotional response of the viewer and that is the goal of the artist so if you are if you are an artist you are i know that you are mindful with with those aspects with the elements with how to express yourself through art so i know that you are good at it okay so there are there are two kinds of color harmonies so the first one is the related color harmonies and the contrasted color harmonies so when you talk about related color har harmonies i think it's very easy to use because they are all related but when you try to use the contrasted color harmonies it's a bit difficult because you have to blend in right so you have to use some contrasting color just to show off your ideas but there are people who are good at it so it's 
it, it's a gift it's a talent if you get to to blend in the the contrasted color harmonies and then at the end of the day you will you can still express yourself through your art okay so therefore i conclude that being an eye artist is not just you want two three a talent no it needs analysis it needs a strong imagination strong interpretation and how you will express yourself through art there are people who are not good in drawing or painting but they are good in sharing in words so i am i am one of them i think right so how about you maybe you are good you are not good in words but you are good in expressing yourself through art well that's a good thing for you and i salute you for for doing that it's it's a it's a gift it's a talent to so you need to express it more to for us to appreciate your your talent your ability your skill do not hide it for yourself you share it to the world because it's a gift given by god because not everyone is good at it. okay so don't you know that there is a psychological effects of color values so if you're going to use some color you need to also consider the psychological effects of the color that you are going to use because if you are going to use dark colors it has its own meaning if you have to use some light colors it also has its own meaning so if you have to portray a happy a happy thoughts a happy feeling you have to consider also the the psychological viewpoint of others when you're going to to use that one okay so in every color there's also a psychological effects of the viewer okay so let's also be mindful with the texture what is the texture texture is something it is an element that deals more directly with the sense of our touch with the sense of touch feel something in your drawing or in your painting and then the more we can fill it with our hands, the more we will be able to appreciate it. And for example, if you are a sculptor, so the more we will be able to, to feel it with our hands, we'll be able to say, wow, that's a very good, that's a very good output. That's a very good project because we can feel it within our hands. So texture also matters, no, for us to better appreciate your art. So we need to feel it to, through our hands okay the next is the perspective so when you talk about perspective deals with the effect of distance upon the appearance of object okay so distance there are two kinds of perspective no when you talk about the pers the distance we have the linear perspective and the aerial perspective so when your perspective deals with the effect of distance upon the appearance of object so the more it's very far from us we will not be able to appreciate that more but the more it gets closer to us we'll be able to appreciate it more so the more we can feel your 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 expression the more we can feel your your drawing your painting if it's more closer to us okay so it really matters no the perspective because we have different perspective sometimes we will always say it's not a good painting but when because we are so far from that painting but if we get close to that painting we're able to say yeah that's a good painting okay so that's the idea of perspective so there are two kinds of perspective the linear perspective and the aerial perspective so that is the importance of perspective because as humans we have different perspective through art some would say it's it's a beautiful art but others would say it's not a beautiful art because we have different perspective okay so how about the space the space is also very important in visual art so we need to feel that that space no we need to to deal with that with that kind of space very uh, properly so that we will be able to appreciate that one so for example if you are an interior designer you will be able to appreciate the that that decoration if you are inside the house but if you are outside the house you will not be able to appreciate what is really inside the house because of the space okay so next is the form so the form is form applies to the overall design of a work of art so in all visual art form is always present no the form the shape it describes the structure or the shape of an object 
so form directs the movement of the eyes okay so every time uh every time i see some painting no i always look at the form i am very concerned about the form how they did that kind of painting so my it directs my eyes it catches my eyes depending on the form that is that is that is showing no based on the based on the art so form are classified into we have this one the regular forms the irregular forms the centralized forms radical forms clustered forms and grid forms so there are a lot of forms no so let's start with the regular forms it is very easy no the regular forms it shows consistency or it shows an orderly manner so when you talk about the irregular forms parts are dissimilar and unrelated to one another so there are a lot of paint painters artists no, who are good at using the regular the irregular forms the centralized forms the grid forms so, so the the other types of forms they are good and how they will blend it in all together you not know, just to express themselves more Expressing ourselves through art okay we have our own we have our own belief we have our own perspective on how we will be able to express ourselves more okay this one this type of art if you are if you are going to use this one we also you will also need to consider the form the volume the volume refers to the amount of space occupied in three dimension the volume it means the solidity and the thickness the thickness of the lines that you are using that is the volume so there are a lot of factors now we'll be able to appreciate the beauty of visual art by just embracing the idea of this one okay so i hope that you get something out of this very quick discussion thank you so much for watching and for subscribing to my channel but before i end let's move on with the principles of art design do you think that there is a principle okay harmony the rhythm the balance the proportion and emphasis so when you talk about harmony it should be harmonious when you talk about drawing painting or expressing yourself it should be harmonious it should be orderly in manner okay it's not it's not, it's not all about drawing just for nothing drawing or painting or doing something like visual arts it's 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 your own way of expressing yourself so thoroughly the idea of consistency or the pattern that you are going to use how about the balance you need to understand the balance if you are going to use contrasted color or the regular forms you need to understand how to balance it okay proportion and the emphasis how do you, how will you emphasize yourself more through art okay thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing to my channel i hope you get something out of this very quick discussion thank you so much and god bless